Hi guys, this is Baska Berry. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you uh, installation of the simple editor for Python language. Um, so basically, why do we go for this editor when we have a lot of IDs which provides the intelligence uh, and methods, everything, uh, auto completion of the codes. But uh, this tool uh, is specifically for the beginners because whenever they want to learn anything, it's better to know the keywords, syntaxes, everything with them. And this editor plus will provide you the, uh, what do you say, we provide you the indentations, marks, and it doesn't provide you the suggestions, basically. So you need to learn them, bas uh, everything by your own. So the for the starters, this editor is very good, and I prefer this when if you're learning it for the first time, so that you don't, you remember all the keywords, those kind of syntaxes, so once you are aware of this editor, then you have learned the technologies or the languages, then you can go for IDs uh, much more advanced to, to learn much more advanced technologies like Zango and web frameworks. Okay. Uh, okay. Let's start with this. So we have a trial version and a paid version in this. Uh, so I'm going to show you how to install the free version itself. Log into uh, just Google this website URL. So I've just opened it here. So when you say the download button is already here, so but I'm just going to open and show you here. You can find it here. And in this, the latest version is 5.3, but um, uh, when we click on the 5.1, this is the eval uh, evaluation versions. So it, it sometimes it may not work. So let's go for uh, stable versions so that we can go using these previous versions here. So you can find a more stable versions as four. So you can download this and try to install it. I have already downloaded it. I have a paid version. So both are similar itself. So let me... So we have a 64 bit mission, so I'm going to install this. So I'm installing 5.3, but you guys can install uh, most stable version as well. Okay, setup is complete. Let me open and run the trial program. Okay, if you don't have, you can just click on the trial version. Since I have it, I'll be logging in. So I've just enabled the key. So let me restart the editor plus. So you can see the UI looks here. So these are some of the options which we have here. So let's see what and all the editor supports. So just click on new others. So you can find a list of uh, types it is going to support uh, for HTML, C++, Perl, Java, CSS, and more importantly, the Python, which you want to see, uh, as well as SQL, Ruby. So it's better uh, if you use this one when compared to normal notepad, because uh, the normal notepad, uh, uh, so you don't get the um, in indentations, so you can't even see what's happening, the colors of the uh, keywords. If you see, if you wanted, if you're typing like this, so we don't see the uh, indentation. So if we and more of the keyword highlighting. So what we can do is we can just click on Python. Okay, so this Python, this one is has opened it. So here we can just normally type your Python scripts or codes here and run it through command prompt. Okay, let me show you a simple one. 
Okay, let's uh, highlight the font because the font looks very small. Um, I like this font. Let me go with the size is 14. Apply. Okay. So now it's a bit bigger so you can see it. Come to very tutorials. Okay, let me save this file. So it is going to store it in dot py extension itself. So to run this, just open a command prompt. Let me put it in some folder. I'm just going to that location, and uh, the file name which I've given is test. Okay, just click py dot test dot py. So you can see this we can output here. So similarly, if you want to write any program, uh, some addition of numbers, so we can just take it like uh, number one. So now you can see this is the keywords that's been highlighted in the colors. So I'll explain what are these things later. So for just this is just for testing the how the editor is going to show you while you're typing. So you can even it highlights also the parenthesis here. So everything you need to type so it doesn't provide you the feasibility of auto completion. So you will learn more uh, clearly in the in the beginning stages. Okay, that's one of the advantages of using these kind of editors. Okay. Okay, so let's run it. So that's the reason it has not been selecting. Place the files in the destination. Okay, enter some digits. Twenty three is 32 so you can see here the first digit is 23 and second is 32 so the sum is 55 so it works well with our tutorials okay thank you for watching please do subscribe my youtube channel